welcome to your one and only program on point and today promises to be exciting informative and entertaining <laughs> yeah it's going to be informative because we've gone to the street to get the views of the people on what's to be done to the niger delta avengers and um, biafra agitators you know these agitators or this group of people that have been you know going around agitating for one reason or the other you know is been uh, having an adverse effect on our economy and our polity as well so that's why on point that I've, I've actually gone to the street to get the views of the people on whether there is any need to use force on these agitators or for us or, or for the government to call for a peaceful roundtable discussion so that this menace of uh, Niger Delta Avengers and the uh, Biafra Agitators will come to an end. And let me take you straight to the street and let's get the views of the street. My name still remains Ekene Ezepue. Enjoy it. We'll be right back. The Niger Delta and Biafra Agitators are two different groups. While Oda is agitating for marginalization and poor economic situation of its terrain, the other is agitating for secession of the eastern part of the country. Why the Biafra agitators are using peaceful demonstration with hoisting of placards, the militant group called the Niger Delta Avengers are using a more aggressive way by blowing up oil pipelines which in turn is affecting the country's economy and power supply. A recent warning issued by the defense headquarters in Abuja, it was gathered that the use of force in these areas might be inevitable if the peace approach by the government fails to materialize. In this background report, we equally went to the streets to get the views of the people on the best approach to be used by the government. No, it's not wise. Using force is not the best. Using force is not the best. The best is to go to dialogue. And using force is not the best. Because using force, we know some souls will be involved, dying or nothing, and not, what, what not concerns them. So it's not the best. So dialogue is the best thing. It's not something that they will use force. It's to calm them down, ask them what is their problem. They will not talk them. Then Nigerians will now say to them and give them what they want so that to stop all those things. If what they are agitating is their rights, our government should dialogue with them, come to compromise with them, and see a way they can resolve things. Uh, the Niger Delta, look at how Abuja is. Abuja is like a place nobody wants to live. And the source of building this Abuja to this standard, there are places the source of this money came from. Uh, we will have priv a privilege to be in the Niger Delta and we see what these people are crying for. I will personally say they are crying for their rights. So government should go close to them. God bless our late president, Omar Yaradua, who know the right way to attack who they. So government fighting them, they will continue causing more harm to the people they say they are ruling. The people you are ruling, the best way to enjoy people you are ruling when there is peace. If military can be able not to shoot them, it just will create peace between that uh, state. You understand? Because really, really, that people, you know, that is where the oil comes from. So what we do with them is just to do use peace. You understand? We use peace with them so that uh, things will be growing well. I don't believe in using force for the Niger, uh, for the Niger Delta because um, it's their land. So definitely government is supposed to, 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 to go in dialogue with them because they don't have any other thing to, to, to feed their life. It's the only way to government to come close to them, to, to make them as a citizen of the land. So government is supposed to say to them in America everywhere. May they give them the something where they, they, they need. May they give them, may they come, the team come settle. About the, may the Buhari give and settle them. But before the Yeradua, they, they give them something. They don't get a problem. But now, they know they give them something. Oh, force can never resolve any issue. I think they need to dialogue. Yes. If they use force, which means this thing will never end. Even though another government should come in, this same problem will continue. The best way out is for them to dialogue and solve this thing once and for all. Because it's affecting everybody. Government should dialogue with them. Dialogue is the best. I don't think using force is 
because those guys are, I think they are fighting for their rights. And so dialogue is the best anyway. Dialogue is the best. It's better the dialogue because using force, you, you, you end up killing more people and most especially the innocent ones. Because the main people involved in the Niger Delta, I don't think they are easy to see. So it's better the government use peacefully way. That is if truly they are practicing democracy, as they said. Yeah. The best thing to do is to have a dialogue with them. Because uh, number one, if by the time they start bombing everything, the whole pipelines, and um, they have forgotten that these same pipelines belongs to them, belongs to Nigeria as a whole. So definitely, if they would want to fall back on it, there will be nothing more. They will still spend money to develop another oil pipeline. So the best thing is to get to a round table and dialogue with it. I think that one is okay. And today, we've been hanging out in the street trying to get the views of the people on what government needs to do to curb the menace in the Niger Delta region and Biafra agitators. And um, we've had different kinds of views. Some people say it's the best is dialogue, not force. And um, we've tried to bring the views of the people. And I think at the end of the day, it's the views of the people that will still stand. From Abuja and Apo, my name still remains Ekene. Keep watching on point on AFP television. Bye for now. <laughs> All right. You're yeah, welcome to that wonderful one. At least now you know what um, uh, the streets have to say. These are the voice of the street, and the voice of the streets is actually the voice of the people. We didn't actually go to interview the highs and the mighty. These are the street, the people that knows what peace, you know, means to them. They're just surviving with their meager earnings, and they don't want anything like war. So they say the government should go. Uh, for a roundtable discussion instead of using a forceful approach to tackle this menace. So, till I come your way next week, I still remain my humble self, Ekene Ezefui. Bye for now.